All right, girls, it's time to spill the tea. It's been so long. Mary, you first, what have you been up to? Well, I recently started working at this new cafe downtown. A cafe? That sounds so stressful and boring. It can be, but I got bills to pay. Hmm. And you, Amanda, anything new? Yeah, um, actually I started my own Etsy shop. Ooh, and what business is that? It's a custom mug store. I design and print all of these onto cute little mugs. Do you like this one? Do you know how many people are already actually doing that? If I were you, I'd shut down that business ASAP. Yeah. So, enough about us. What about you? What do you do for work? It's clearly going so well for you. Well, I don't lift a finger. I'm smart with my time, girls. I'm dating a millionaire. What? Really? Mm-hmm. Is that how you're able to afford this apartment building? Yep. And here's the best part. He proposed to me last night. So I'll be entitled to half of everything he owns. Isn't that amazing? Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. I know, right? But don't worry, ladies. I'll give you plenty of tips on how to find your own millionaires. That way you can quit the cafe and you can shut down your cute little business. I'm so ready for this. I just want a life with luxury and leisure. Yeah, I mean, it sounds tempting, but isn't that shallow? Oh, Amanda, you're too sweet for your own good. When you're living the high life, who cares about being shallow? Oh, hey, honey. Off work already? Yeah, I just had to come home, change my shirt, have another meeting, and this one's a little snowy. Aw, oh, bummer. It would have been nice for you to join us. Oh, yeah. I wish. Um, are we still on for dinner? We had dinner plans? Yeah, you said you wanted to make me something special, homemade Chinese or something for my birthday? Oh, yeah. I know that's silly. I was just testing you. Yes, I'll be making your favorite tonight. Great. That sounds amazing. Hey, that's a cool cup. Is that yours? Uh, yeah, I made it myself. Very talented, I love it. Thank you. All right, gotta go. I'll see you later, babe. Okay, see you soon, babe. Ugh, I hate it when he shows up unannounced. Isn't this his apartment, though? Yeah, but he could at least give me a heads up or something. What if I was in the middle of an important conversation? And now I have to gift him something for his birthday? Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, you think you can gift me one of your mugs? He seemed to really like it. Yeah, totally. What's he into? I'm sure I've got some designs to like even more. Oh gosh, I don't know what he likes. Just get me anything suitable for a guy. Okay, yeah, totally. Thanks. So, I'll have to try this homemade Chinese food sometime, so you guys tucked it up quite a bit. Just go to Panda Express, that's where I get it from. So, it's not homemade? I've never cooked a day in my life. I just order takeout, serve it on a plate for him, he can never tell the difference. You're such a genius, I seriously need to hang out with you more. Hey, come over anytime. Oh, wow. It smells amazing in here. Well, sit down and get comfortable, birthday boy, because it tastes even better. Oh. I finished making it 10 minutes ago. Babe, you seriously outdid yourself. Well, I always want to give you the best. Taste it. Tell me how it tastes. Mmm, mm-hmm. It's so good. I also got you this. Oh. Happy birthday! Hey, it's your friend's company. Well, I saw how much you liked the one Amanda had brought earlier, so I thought I would get you one. Yeah. I mean, I'm more of a Harry Potter fan, but it's the thought that counts. Thank you, babe. These are actually really cool. Do you think your friend could do like a custom order? 
I'm sure she could. I can ask her. Yeah, because Brian would love like an Avengers one, and I bet Tommy would like probably a Lord of the Rings one, and then, nah, I don't know. I kind of think, maybe he would want a Star Wars one. Okay, babe, how about you just ask yourself, I'll send you her number, because that's a lot of work. Yeah, I'll text her tomorrow, we'll set up a meeting or something. Okay, I'm texting you her number right now. And seriously, thank you so much. This is really special to me. Of course, I'm just glad I get to spend this very special day with you. Hey. hey Amanda, Hello. thanks for coming. Thanks. I brought by some designs for the custom order. Cool, let's check these out. I hope you like them. I put a lot of effort into them. These are great. I mean, so much creativity. You're seriously talented. I, I love them. Thanks. I, I do what I can. Well, tell me more about your business. Do you, you have a website or? As of right now, I'm just selling through Etsy and word of mouth, but I'm thinking about starting a website. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you should be on social media. These should be on Amazon. You could be in a big retailer. I, I... Really? I, I mean, I wouldn't even know where to begin with all that. Yeah, I mean, I know it can be scary, but I think your business has a lot of potential here. And what if, what if I could help you? I know a lot of people, I could pull some strings. I mean, there's no reason I couldn't get this business up and running. You would do that for me? Of course. I think your business is more than ready. It's just, are you ready? Yes, absolutely, I am. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, as a fellow entrepreneur, mm. I just love helping others and watching their dreams come true. Thank you, Daniel. You're truly a kind-hearted person. Let's strategize. <laughs> Daniel and Amanda collaborate on a strategic plan to elevate her business to new heights. Daniel utilizes his network to connect Amanda with website designers, big box manufacturers, and retailers fueling her business growth. Meanwhile, Stacy indulges in a lavish lifestyle, taking advantages of her fiance's wealth. As Amanda spends more time with Daniel, she then learns about his genuine kindness and selflessness. She begins to feel bad that Stacy is taking advantage of him. Oh, hey Stacy. I didn't expect this to here. I just came to drop off this paperwork to Daniel, but he's taking a long time. What are you doing here? I came by to drop off this mug I made him as a thank you for everything he's been doing for my business. You're still making money by slaving away on your small little business? Yeah, and it's not exactly a small business anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to teach you how to make money the right way. You have to work smarter, not harder. You want to know what this paperwork is? Sure. This is our marriage paperwork. We're going to sign everything today and seal the deal. Aren't you supposed to sign all that during or after the wedding? If you're in love, yes. But I came to the realization that if we spend $100,000 on a wedding, that would mean that I would keep less in the divorce. But if we sign these paperwork today and not even have a wedding, I'll keep even more money. Isn't that genius? It's pretty clever, but it's also wrong. Wrong how? What are you talking about? What you're doing is taking advantage of him. That's not right. What, are you in love with him or something? What, no, I just, Daniel is a good guy. He doesn't deserve to be treated like that. You're so adorable, Amanda. It's pathetic. I'm serious, Stacy. I'm not okay with you doing this to him. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And if you don't call off the wedding and tell him everything, then I will. Don't you even dare tell him a single word. If a single word comes out of your mouth, I will be your worst enemy. You don't know what I'm capable of, Amanda. Trust me, you don't want me as your enemy. Oh, hey, I'm so sorry I'm late. The meeting was a nightmare. Oh, hey, I didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, hi, um, I just came by to drop this off. Uh, what is that? 
I know you're a Harry Potter fan, so... Uh, <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you for everything that you've done for my business. You really changed my life. Shoot, babe, I gotta get going. I thought we were signing papers. I know, but I have a massage appointment I forgot about. My masseuse just texted me where I'm at. Plus, you took forever. I... I'll just leave these here, and you can sign them, okay? Okay, I will. You make me the happiest woman on earth. And you make me the luckiest man on earth. We can't let anyone or anything prevent us from getting married, okay? I promise, nothing. Was there anything else you needed, or were you just dropping off gifts? No, it's just, uh, I, I don't know. Is everything okay? It's fine, it's just... It's just what? Are you concerned about something? I feel like as your friend, I should warn you. You have to warn me about what? Stacy. You have to warn me about Stacy? She's using you for your money. <laughs> what? Yeah, she admitted it to me. She admitted to me that she's using you for your money. That can't be true. Stacy loves me for who I am. She's only pretending like she does so that she can take half of what you own. Look, I appreciate your concern, but Stacy and I are in love. She's admitted it to me multiple times, Daniel. Okay, stop. I don't know where this is coming from, but you're seriously out of line. I know Stacy can be a little high maintenance, but she's not a manipulative liar. And I seriously don't appreciate you coming in here and insulting me and my fiance. So let's just end this conversation. That way you don't say something you're seriously gonna regret. You're right. I'm sorry, I sincerely apologize. Stacy's a great girl. And I don't know why I said that. This is Daniel. Yeah, yeah. I can, uh, I can be there in 10. All right. Okay, look, I have to go. I appreciate the apology and thank you again, seriously, for the cup. <sighs> Amanda decides not to convince Daniel of the truth. Later that evening, Daniel signs the papers and then takes them to Stacy. Stacy happily and without question or concern signs the papers. She then begins to take the papers to the county clerk and about a week later receives an official marriage license. Hey babe, guess what arrived in the mail today? What is it? A marriage license. Hey, it's official. It's official. We're legally husband and wife. You make me the happiest man in the world. Same. I'm so happy we did this. Now that we are legally married, I would like to serve you with these. <laughs> More paperwork? Yep. Divorce papers. <laughs> You're funny, babe. I'm not messing around, Daniel. Babe, stop messing around. I'm thinking steak, wine. No, Daniel. I'm not joking. I'm being 1,000% serious. I want a divorce. I don't, I don't understand. I never had intentions of living happily ever after with you. My plan was to be your wife and divorce you right after. But I love you, you said you loved me. I was just selling the role. <laughs> what can I say? I guess that makes me a great actress. I mean, I gave you everything. You're a fool who fell for the wrong person. I never loved you. I just saw you as a ticket to an easy life. I trusted you. Trust is overrated. Money is all that matters in this world. You of all people should know that. And as your wife, soon to be ex-wife, I will now be taking half of everything you own. No, you won't. Like it or not, sweetheart, I'm legally entitled to it. No, you're not. We both 
signed a prenuptial agreement. A prenup? Ha, <laughs> good one. I'm serious. We signed a prenup. You wish. Why would I be stupid enough to sign a prenup? Maybe because you didn't read through all the paperwork? It's a good bluff, Daniel. But it's not gonna work. I didn't add a prenup to that paperwork. You didn't. But I did. Amanda, you added the prenup? I did. I knew I couldn't convince you of Stacy's true character. But as your friend, I still wanted to look out for you, Daniel. So when you left for the meeting that day, I drew up a prenuptial agreement and I sent it to a lawyer for review. He sent it back, so I slipped it into the paperwork. And since you both signed it, it's legally binding and stands in a court of law. Stacy, you're entitled to nothing. Well, um, I can't believe you actually believed me, babe. I was just messing around. I don't really want a divorce. Right. I was, um, it was for a TikTok video where I was pulling a prank on you. You've been pranked. Gotcha. Cut the act, Stacy. You know you're lying. Don't believe her, babe. I, I wasn't pretending. You're the love of my life. I love you. Stacy, you showed your true colors. You lied to me. You betrayed me. You may not want a divorce anymore, but I most definitely do, so. You'll pay for this, both of you. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Do what you have to, Stacy. We're not afraid of you. You should be. Thank you for that. Yeah, no, I mean, of course. I couldn't exactly just stand by and let you make the biggest mistake of your life, so. I mean, I didn't believe you. I owe you big time. No, no. Y you've done so much for me already. But dinner tonight sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, dinner does sound nice. Dinner with someone real. <laughs> What you got there? Oh, I actually brought over some new mug designs to show you. Oh, cool, have a seat. Let's check these out. Daniel and Amanda's bond grows stronger as they continue to work together and support each other through tough times. Amanda provides comfort and assistance to Daniel during a challenging phase in his life. And over time, their relationship deepens into true love. After Daniel's divorce is finalized, he and Amanda embark on a new chapter together filled with happiness and love. However, unbeknownst to them, Stacy lurks in the shadows and plots her revenge. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Ken and again, thank you so much for watching that video. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to like this video, subscribe for more, and share this video with a friend who you think might need to hear this message. The Life Reels team and I love you and we'll see you guys in the next one.